Say hi. Hi. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how I remove my moles from home. So when I was pregnant with Ashton, my little moles ended up growing into bigger moles. And as you can see here, this is one of them. It has texture now, it grew, it's bigger, and I just hate it. This one looks like a pimple. And then I have one on my stomach as well that as uh, you can see it has texture and it really grew. So today I'm going to be doing an at-home herbal self-application kit um, and this is by Pristine Herbal Touch. So it's wart and mole vanish. So this is supposed to be the world's only 120 minute single application wart mole skin tag syringoma removal product. So we shall see how this works. I'm going to go through the process and share with you guys. So let's see if I can get rid of these moles guys. Are you going to help mommy? Are you? No. No? Mm. Can I get a kiss? No more. Okay. No more. You can go play. I love you. Okay, so product indications. Product produces natural cauterization whenever attempting to manipulate or change the dermis. One should expect that a blemish or scar may result. I'm not too worried about scarring. I did get um, one mole removed here and you can't even see the scar. So I had that one lasered off. Um, in most circumstances, the use of this product will result in a minor and temporary blemish that normally fades away within 90 days. Um, you must read all product instructions before use. Okay, and so the kit contains um, the WMV cream. Um, and the quantity sufficient for two to five growths or five to 25 smaller ones. Um, and then it's nat it also contains, and it also contains natural antibacterial solution, three cotton swabs, two applicator sticks, one stainless steel needle um, for scratching hard, like anything hard, um, one emery board for scratching soft moles or skin tags, and one toothpick for scratching soft moles or skin tags. So I've never done this at home. I'm a little nervous and a little excited though. Um, and so this is supposed to be guaranteed results. It's also an award-winning product, 20 minute application, and it's derived with um, ingredients from plant-based sources. So this says the Q-tips are for cleaning the wart mold before and after the treatment. Do not use for applying the cream. We're providing you with two applicator sticks. The smaller one can be used for stirring and applying a small to small wart and moles. Emery board is for scratching the surface of soft moles or skin tags. In some cases, it may work better than the needle or some may just prefer it. Be sure surface of mole or skin tag is scratched thoroughly for best results. So let's see. All right guys, so I have everything laid out here in front of me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and follow these step-by-step -step instructions. Um, but before doing so, I went ahead and I logged into www.wartmolevanish.com to read a little bit about the type of mole I have. And it looks like the type of mole I might have on my stomach is a junctional mole. It's a typical brown mole but can be flat or slightly raised so mine used to be like brown and flat and tiny and then I think you know just with all my hormones and everything um, being pregnant and just sun exposure it uh, got a little more like texture and raised and that sounds so gross I know it does but yeah all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead, stand up, and show you guys the mole on my stomach. That's the one I'll be removing. So I'm gonna give that one a try first before I do anything to my face. Okay guys, so the first step it says to do is to clean the mole with the antibacterial solution and a cotton swab. So this is the antibacterial solution. This is the cotton swab. I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in here. And then I'm gonna clean the mole 
So it says to clean it really good. Okay. And then with this emery board, I have to like roughen it up. So they want me to like rub, you know, like to rub the mole, I guess. You're not supposed to make it bleed. You're just supposed to like roughen up the skin. So, and only get the mole. You're not supposed to get the skin around it. So this is really weird. I can definitely feel the mole getting like a little sensitive. I feel like the mole's turning red. Okay, so I think mine is probably good. So since this is a raised mole, it might need two treatments. Um, but I don't know, it's pretty sensitive and it's not that raised, so we'll see. But okay, so next step, I guess I'll just like poke at it a little. I feel like mine's is really roughened up already. So the next step is going to be to um, clean it with the antibacterial solution. Let me go ahead and clean it. And unfortunately, mine drew blood. It didn't even hurt when I was doing this. I didn't even know it was going to bleed. Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and open up the WMV cream. And with the applicator, I'm gonna go ahead and stir the contents. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the mole. Ah! This really burns, actually. Ooh, this really stings. Okay. Just clean around it. Okay guys, so I just finished applying the WMV cream to the mole, um, and I do feel like a strong stinging sensation. I'm supposed to wait about 20 minutes um, for the mole to turn dark, and eventually it's going to scab. So it's all red around the area, which the instruction said is normal. And the mole is supposed to turn like dark brown black, and if it doesn't, then I have to try the treatment again. So hopefully it does. Okay guys, so I've had the WMV cream for about 20 minutes now. And as you can see, it's like dried up. So I wet this napkin and I'm kind of just gonna Remove the cream. Ah, I'm kind of nervous. It's so dark. So it just like scabbed my skin. So I'm kind of nervous because I feel like I put the cream a little bit on the outside of the mole. Um, so the scab's like a little bigger. It kind of goes more around it. But we'll see. Hopefully I don't scab too much. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like the product. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments, questions, suggestions down below. And also make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Jessica Giselle underscore. Ashton, say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love you, guys. Love you, guys. Follow my channel soon. Follow my soon. Me playing with my toys. Me playing with toys. See you later. See you later. Mwah. Blow on the kiss. Mwah. Mwah. I love you. <laughs> okay, go play. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. It's been about two weeks and my scab finally fell out. The mole is no longer there. As you can see, there's just a little scar, but I'm putting an ointment on it. So hopefully it'll fade. I don't scar too easily, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I will be using this on my face to try to remove this scar. Um, but it's gotta be on a week where I don't have much going on. Um, you know, because I don't want to have a scab on my face. But I was really, really happy with the results. So I would highly recommend this product. Take a good look.